So, hello everyone. In this demo, I will show you a new subcommand that was implemented in Tamos, that is our CLI tool. So, you are probably already familiar with our configuration file that uh, is named uh, .yaml. And in that configuration file, we have a listing of runtime environments uh, that are configured uh, with specific configuration options uh, that are used in the resolver uh, to resolve software stacks. So what Tamos check does, basically takes uh, what's present inside that uh, .yaml file and verifies it uh, against the current uh, environment where the uh, Tamos runs in. So here you can see that uh, we have one environment that is called env1. All the configuration options uh, that are uh, uh, kept in that uh, environment entry are verified against uh, what was discovered on my local machine. So here you can see one error, and that is uh, that I'm using Fedora, but in my uh, .yaml configuration file, I stated uh, that uh, I want to run uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Uh, this, these environment checks work also uh, on multiple environments. So uh, what you can do, you can have multiple environments in your in your file, and if the file is proper level file, that's not the case. No. One more implementation. So uh, now it should verify all the environments. Uh, in this case, uh, none of these environments uh, were uh, matching uh, the environment that I'm running in. Uh, this command uh, is already uh, integrated inside S2I uh, container images, where uh, you can control this behavior using .config check that uh, triggers these uh, configuration checks during S2I builds. And as an example, I triggered a few uh, builds uh, in OpenShift. And here you can see that uh, one environment uh, check was uh, successful. In this case, there were printed some wo uh, only warnings that uh, I haven't stated any CPU model, but uh, there was detect some CPU running inside uh, the environment, this Intel Xeon processor. And as uh, the check passed, the installation process continued. In the next uh, build, uh, I uh, adjusted configuration in a way that it did not match the uh, configuration runtime environments that I used. So uh, I provided that I want to run Fedora 33, uh, but that does not match uh, the environment that I'm using that is uh, rel based. Uh, these configuration options uh, that are checked are basically all the options uh, in the in the .yaml file, so you, these checks apply on CPU, operating system name, operating system version, but also, for example, CUDA version that is uh, present inside environment and other uh, configuration options that we support in .yaml file. Uh, on, under the hood, uh, you can call a library function that uh, basically reports uh, this information. So uh, this can be also integrated into our uh, tools such as uh, Jupyter Notebooks and uh, Jupyter Lab extensions. Uh, in that case, you will receive just a JSON or dictionary uh, stating uh, these uh, configuration options and if they produce some error or uh, not. Uh, by using Tamos check, uh, we also verify that the project structure uh, is correct. So if you are using overlays, um, then uh, Tamos check also checks if you have properly uh, set up uh, your overlays. And that's probably it. Do you have any questions? Now, when do we get that as a uh, pipeline check? Sounds to me like we could simply have the toolbox image. We're going to run Tamos check on the directory where the source code is checked out, and that's basically it, right? So I guess it returns something non-zero on error. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. Nice. So uh, I can 
even integrate that into a tacton. Okay, thank you. Thanks.